Well, greetings, YouTube. As always, please subscribe. We need subscribers uh, due to the new YouTube regulations uh, and stuff. So we're about 160 uh, subscribers short right now. So please subscribe and definitely thumbs up the videos. Um, so I have here a brand new double airbag. A brand new HEPA filter gasket intact. Uh, just pulled out the package. And I have here a Panasonic Kenmore machine that is actually in wonderful condition. A little old lady on it in the mountains. It apparently doesn't vacuum too often, so uh, anyways, it was brought in for power head issues, but I wanted to particle test it. Um, as you know, the particle tester doesn't really tell you what kind of particles are coming out, but we do know that when you reach uh, a vast amount of particles, that it is bad for your lungs. That those are those are just scientific facts on that. Um, so we're going to put this in, and I know that I know what this machine is going to do. I know exactly what this machine is going to do um, in terms of filtration. But I know these guys don't. And some of you people are <laughs> kind of assholes about it. Uh, so, again, uh, it's been cleaned. We're going to put this in properly. Um, I wasn't trying to cheap shot that Kenmore I did the other day. I was just, I pulled it out of the wild and just showed what they'll do and how customers actually use them in their home uh, most of the time. You know, um, unfortunately, when you don't have a sealed HEPA, the heat will not build up enough to trickle thermal to shut off the vacuum and tell the customer, hey, you need to do something. Um, so, you know, the machine, where is it exhausted at? You know, we're looking at this machine all over, and I'll tell you, it's exhaust behind the wheels. <laughs> Very strange place, but that's where it's at. Um, so we're going to fire up particle counter and see what's in, in the air today. And we're going to see what comes out of this Kenmore, and this is going to be a real loud vacuum. So about 100,000. So, let's put it... <laughs> So we saw it spike almost to 5 million, a high 4 millions, and we saw the machine blew a million and some change consistently out of all three of its orifices there. Um, and there's the what's in the air now. So we've seen the air quality change a little bit in the room. Luckily the CFM's very low on the machine. Anyways, and again, there was a new habit filter in there. Um, and. It, I hate to say it doesn't make a huge difference if you use HEPA bags in here. Um, the customer wasn't using HEPA bags, so I'm not putting HEPA bags in it. Um, but that's kind of the reality of this machine, and this design. It was designed a long time ago by Whirlpool. Uh, here's, the, here's the real problem. There is no gasket going into the bag. This foam gasket is about level with the bag holder right here, and it just leaks dust from as soon as it goes through the hose into the machine. And then there's really no seal in the back of the machine. The motor's not in its own compartment, so it just kind of leaks air everywhere. Um, and that was fine in the 1980s. That, in fact, that was high tech. Uh, but in 2018, I think that's un unacceptable. Um, and just like this machine has wire reinforced hose, and, doesn't have casters all the way around. It's just old school and um, it should be retired. And this this Panasonic model probably is retired by now, but people are still buying them and the new Kenmores are basically still the same vacuum. Um, so that's why I don't recommend Kenmore vacuums. Uh, whether you have allergies or not, the amount of dust coming out of this machine, in my opinion, is unacceptable. As always, please subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, you can always comment below uh, about this machine and your Kenmore and Panasonic experiences. Uh, and you can always go to our Facebook if you want to discuss something else.